Your next patient is a middle-aged male with great veins, but he requests that you use a butterfly needle even though his veins don't require it. What do you do? Hi, I'm Dennis Ernst, your personal phlebotomy guru. In this video, I'm going to discuss when such requests should be honored and when they shouldn't. And I'm going to give you a way to convince your patient a conventional needle would be best. First, the pros and cons of drawing blood with a butterfly set, also known as a winged infusion set. Named for the wings that are held during use that resemble the shape of butterfly wings, these devices are lightweight, easily maneuverable, and allow for a lower angle of insertion. They're great for chemotherapy and geriatric patients whose veins are fragile and difficult to access. They're also well suited for use on pediatric patients for whom precise needle placement is essential to the success of the procedure. And then there's the patient's perception especially if it's the child's first blood draw. After all, a butterfly would never hurt you, right? Wouldn't it be nice if we had a friendly sounding name for other needles like hummingbird or unicorn or something just as pleasant? So it's the perception of them being less painful that's significant to the patient. And here's the other thing. After one successful butterfly experience, isn't it true that patients tend to insist on their use for every future venipuncture? even when they're not necessary for a successful draw? So what's wrong with that? Well, let's talk about the cons of using butterflies. All the benefits we just mentioned come at a price. The first one is, well, it's price. Butterflies cost up to 10 times what conventional safety needles cost. That's about $1.25 versus around a dime or maybe 20 cents. Multiply that by however many you use unnecessarily and it can add up to some serious change. So that's why using them when they're not required can be a real budget buster. And that's why using them when they're not necessary isn't really being a good steward of your employer's resources. And then there's the safety aspect. Did you know when you're drawing blood with butterfly sets, you're up to five times more likely to sustain an accidental needle stick than if you were using another device? Well, not that they're inherently unsafe, but winged blood collection sets have two needles instead of just one. Think of them like two-headed snakes. They can bite you from either end if you don't dispose of it properly or handle it properly. So what do you do when a patient asks for a butterfly, but their veins don't require it? Well, that depends on your facility. Some places, although not many, will let the patient's preference take priority as a matter of customer service. If that describes your place of employment, well, then that's what you do. But what about the safety issue? Should a patient's preference require healthcare professionals drawing their blood to be at a greater risk of a needle stick? After all, shouldn't you be allowed to use the device you're most comfortable with? You're the expert, right? You're the professional. You wouldn't go to your next dental appointment and tell the dentist what drill to use on your teeth, would you? Of course not. You'd trust your dentist to use the combination of equipment he or she finds most useful, successful, and does the best job in achieving the desired results. So why should your patient get to tell you what kind of needle you have to use to perform your procedure? But if you're concerned about the cost and the safety, well, maybe there's another way around it. But before we go there, I have got a simple request. I want you to go here in the corner and click on the subscribe button and the notification bell on our channel page so that you and I can stay connected and you'll be notified of every new video the day it goes public. Okay, now back to our butterfly demanding patient. Perhaps you approach it diplomatically by explaining in very compassionate and professional terms that you understand why they want a butterfly used on them, but that you're much more comfortable and successful using another device, especially on veins as obvious as theirs. If they insist, well, maybe then you can let them know that the device they're requesting puts you at a greater risk of being accidentally stuck with it before the draw is over, a risk you don't think is necessary with their veins. The important impression to make is that you're not taking their choice away, just changing their preference by presenting facts they may not have been aware of. What patient is going to insist that they put the phlebotomist at an increased risk? Well, not many, I don't think. After all that, if the patient is still insisting on a butterfly, you have two choices. Either you go forward with honoring their request and use an abundance of caution, or you politely dismiss yourself to find someone else who might be more comfortable with their preference. Hey, nine times out of 10 though, your professional diplomacy is going to work and you'll be allowed to draw their blood sample using the device of your choice. At the end of the day, all that matters is that the patient has a positive experience and you do their sample safely and successfully. 
If you want another video on drawing with a butterfly set, just click on this window. I'm Dennis Ernst, your personal phlebotomy guru, reminding you to keep sticking to the standards.